Hey guys, welcome to the tutorial. Today we're going to focus on how to use the intersect tool to generate the final result. I hope you enjoy watching this video and please feel free to leave some comments. On the add-in, what we're going to do is the, we're going to click on the button called Construct Surface. And uh, I say uh, that edge over there, that face, and uh, that edge over there. Okay. If I say OK, it's going to go and select all of those edges. Uh, you can see the add-ins running, it's going through it and selecting it. Now, sometimes when you run this, it does not, it, it swaps one or two of the profiles at the front here. And you might have to go and just drag the green buttons across, uh, those green nodes. But um, you will see here that I can get the surface. So um, I'm going to cancel this because I've already constructed the surface. So I'm going to push that one up a bit. Uh, and that gives me a surface loft, which looks like this. Okay. I'm now going to take a look at this. And uh, I need to make a solid out of this one. So sometimes the add-in doesn't make a solid, but you can still make a solid from the inputs. So the first thing I'm going to do is, is I'm going to construct a surface revolve. Okay. Now you'll notice that if I if I go back to my original feed screen, all right, there are some jagged edges here. Okay, and it, you'll see that the jagged edges are not there for all of the cuts. It only starts around about over here, and the reason for that is because our shape is too close to each other. To make a, a loft here uh, and to create a solid, we need to get rid of these jagged edges. So what I've done is uh, the surface revolve that I've put here is going to go through those jagged edges. I'm also going to create two planes. One plane at the end there, and uh, one plane at the end there. And then I'm going to use the intersect tool to generate a solid from this. So I'm going to go to features, and I'm going to say intersect. And we will see that uh, I'm going to choose that surface, that one, that one, and that one. And we will say create internal regions. I'm going to click the intersect button. And uh, we can see here that the, this region here is the one that I want to get rid of. So uh, I'm going to say, let's choose that one. And we'll consume our surfaces. And I'll just hit the OK button. The result is what we would be looking for. So you can see there I've got uh, one solid body. And this solid body now is... Uh, what you want. So it is a little bit lower on the side, but we think that should be fine. It's about 1.5 millimeter difference between that height and that height. But um, you should get a good result uh, when you machine this. I hope that can help you.